Opossum. Morning. Say good morning. Do I say good morning or do I say morning? You say morning. Morning. This is America. The dad's getting started. He's heading over to grade that lane that I mentioned in the last video. I don't know what BJ and I are doing, which is par for the course. And yeah. Morning. So what are we doing? Whatever you and dad broke the other day. Dad, we loaded this thing up with wheat and some cover crop seed. We are putting out some cover crops and we promptly blew a hydraulic line. So we got to get that replaced this morning. He didn't even take a bath. Man, you are bald. This right here is our hose we have to take off. And it's seized up, so let's see if we can break something. After a lot of persuading, we got this part of it off of there. Now we gotta get the other end of the hose undone and go get a replacement. This escalated quickly. Alright, we got all the fittings loose but i think we need a hydraulic line wrench so uh, i don't know if bj's gonna go look for one of those we don't have any so we might have to go buy one but i'm gonna head up to the agco plot i believe darren is back running the chisel plow so check that thing out see how it's doing hey darren how's it going pretty good pretty awesome rig yeah First time running one of these. Yeah, yeah good yeah. deal. First time we've had a chisel plow in the dirt in no two decades. So, right now, Darren is uh, running a two inch point. So this point doesn't throw near as much dirt as the previous one. He's got a four inch point over there. It's really burying the residue. This one's not quite burying it as much. Still really disrupting the dirt. One thing about it, fresh turned dirt smells wonderful. One thing about it, fresh turned dirt smells wonderful. I almost said delicious, but I'm not eating that. I'm having a chicken dinner today. So I don't know if you can see it, but there's kind of a green haze in this field. There's cereal rye planted out here at different populations. Over there, we got a no-till pass, and then we have various passes with a vertical tillage tool at different depths and speeds. And then we also have the chisel plow passes with different points and different depths and different speeds. So pretty interesting. one thing I've really liked about being a part of these Agco crop tour plots is seeing this kind of stuff because these are all questions we have. Is it worth planting cover crops? Is, is no-till paying for itself or are we losing you know, yield potential there? Should we be doing some sort of tillage or should we not? And uh, yeah, we're getting to, getting to find out. So pretty excited about that. While we're on the subject of the crop tour plots, I'm pretty sure that the data from our plot that was gathered um, with the momentum planter and the pinch rows and the compaction and all that good stuff, all that data is going to be available at their virtual crop tour, which is sometime this month. So make sure you check that out at Agco's website to get signed up for it. Uh, I know I'll be watching. Let's see what worked and what didn't. Well, it would figure that as soon as I unhooked from the Thunder Creek, something would need fuel. Had to come get it for the fent that Darren's running. It's just running on fumes right now. So throw a little bit of, little bit of diesel bones in there and let him get back to it. And then we're going to head to the next farm and knock out some more acres. Well, after a delicious pickup bed lunch, we're moving. I go pick up Dad's draper head. We're only taking one combine since this is a small patch. We're actually taking all of this farm to the elevator. So Larry and I are going to be super trucking. And hopefully that's not our bottleneck, but it could be. We're taking all this grain to the elevator because this is a 50-50 split farm and close to the elevator had to run and get dad's bean head that's what's behind us here he is waiting on us at the end of a pretty pretty narrow road so i'm gonna run down there and go ahead of him always try to have an escort when we can 
this is why I'm going ahead of him. We're kind of up on a ridge, pretty steep driveway. It's always a question of will the semis make it up the driveway. But we made it. Really don't want to spin out in this header wagon. That would be miserable. This is a beautiful farm, but and there's a deer path. So get a lot of that. Afternoon everyone. Back at it. Combine beans again. Go to this other farm. About 32 acres here. We're gonna do that. Then we got about that many acres of corn to do while we're over here. So beans not too awful bad. Not the greatest, but uh, or what they are. Dad should be he's probably about half done with the beans. But we gotta move one more semi. So we're gonna do that corn, it's gonna take a while. We're probably gonna need all the trucks. And then we gotta get everyone's pickup up here so we probably won't get done tonight. Sure didn't take him long. By the time Larry and I got everything moved, he was pretty much done. With this only being a 35 acre field, it's all gonna fit on two trucks easily. And then we'll have about six loads of corn we'll have to haul out of here. Well, dad made quick work of the beans. Now he's gonna drop that head. Switch his chopper around and go go into corn. Okay, we've got the beans done. Soak this little thatch here up, eight and ten acres here. Get it off. Looks like about 18% moisture. Most ground wasn't very good. Be deer over here. Deer everywhere. They play heavy havoc with the crops. Waiting in line. I got this ten acres done. Going down over the hill here. We got folded up down over the hill here. It's Field down there, 22 or 3 acres. First round, ain't much around these fields. They go over these deer and stuff. Down here on the creek, I'm sure it'd be just as bad, not worse. There's a hunter over there. We said, we kill something besides bucks. We only want some bucks. A little bit steep here. They just switched the corn. We're not behind yet. In fact, he doesn't even have enough to give me a full truck yet. So I'm gonna hop in with him. Here we are down on the creek. Looks like we got a beaver dam. Down there, got dammed up. Pretty good. They have always worked over here. See what last year there was like three dams right there, one right there. See where they've been in the corn here. That's probably a little bit of everything here. Usually they'll take it to the creek. BJ, I love your view. Don't you say anything about my dirty windows? Your windows are a little dirty. Oh, come on now. They're still dirty. Yes. In fact, I don't think they're any more clean. I think they're more dirty. What do you mean? I haven't washed them lately. Clearly. I mean, did you expect them to just magically clean themselves? I figured you'd clean them. I don't know how you didn't clean them with. It's a window cleaner in the fuel trailer. Yeah, every time I get ready to do something like that, you go, let's go! Okay, got here at six. When I clean my windows. Uh, yeah. Uh -huh. You gotta be <laughs> shy. <laughs> what? I thought I was washing your windows. Oh, hey, you might get like a, a clean uh, patch. Drive into the dust, it'll help. Yeah, yeah. Off-roading. Yep, we're wheeling. Hopefully we don't do a wheelie. We might be loaded a little. It might be one of the, them kind of wheelies with the front ends on the ground. Come on, Betsy. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Ah, you got it. I think you can come up here with 80. All in the back. Yeah. Yeah. So what the problem was, Dad loaded the cart. What the problem is, is we don't communicate well at all. Correct. Um, Dad loaded the back of the cart and we needed some tongue weight. But it's okay, because we made it. Well, unfortunately, they got busy. We are in line number seven. Look 
o'clock we're going to get done. I think Brian's just getting back. It's like uh, almost 7 o'clock. I've got down uh, around a half, I think. Two rounds will be done. I think we can hold it. Truck to the grain cart should be able to hold it. Get this done. Pretty decent corn uh, down here next to the creek. Yeah, it's over 200 bushel, but up there on the wet spots, the hill wasn't much. So it'll average out maybe 170. Ain't bad for over here. DJ's taking us on an adventure. Closest thing I ever get to a roller coaster. <laughs> Scared of heights. Well, it does appear that we are going to finish at this farm tonight. We're not going to have all the trucks dumped, but we can do that in the morning. We did get done here, so that's good. We got all of, uh, what, 70 acres of this place? <laughs> big day, big day. Be very, very quiet. I'm hunting rabbits. <laughs> Will it fit? I don't know. Probably not. Folding corn head for the wind. I believe we are going to leave the equipment here tonight and move in the morning. I'd say Dad and BJ will move while Larry and I are waiting in line at the elevator. Lines are one of the main reasons why we built grain bins. That and you make money with grain bins, but until four years ago, we had to take 200 more truckloads to town every harvest and fight those lines every day. So, that's, so grain bins definitely have sped us up, believe it or not. Must not have fit. Looks like he's stashing some on the other truck. Closing stuff up. Gotta feed Squishy. You want some food? Hey guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to thumbs up the video on the way out. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Also, we do have some new hoodies available at farmfocus.com. So check those out. It's starting to get cold. Make a great Christmas present. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.